Hi, my name is Nicholas. Mia, Sydney, and I will be teaching you how to program your EV3 robot to sing hot crust buns while bumping the wall with a touch sensor, backing up, turning, driving away, and looping the program. We found this challenge on stemcentric.com created by Dale Yocum, who is an engineering pro program director at Caitlin Gable School. To find this challenge, you'll click on EV3 tutorial and then click on weight blocks to see the video that shows you the challenge. We added on to this challenge by programming a song. To open a new program, go to Lego Mindstorms, then click File, New Project, Program, and then Open. When you open the EV3 programming software, we recommend you close the content editor to give you more space. To program this challenge, you first go to the green action tab and pull out a sound block. This will make your robot play a sound. Place the block underneath and to the right of the play block. Grab the connector that is on the play block and drag it down and connect it to the music note. This will allow your robot to play sound and move forward simultaneously. Next, click on the Play File folder and click Play Note. Click on the tab with the note above it and a piano keyboard should appear. In order to play Hot Cross Buns, you click on the note that says E5 when you hover over it. After that, click on this note and you have constructed the first note of Hot Cross Buns. Next, you will put a D5 note, a C5 note, an E5 note, a D5 note, 5 C5 notes, 4 D5 notes, an E5 note, a D5 note, and a C5 note. As you can see, we have already constructed the notes of hot cross buns on another program. If you want, you may add weight blocks to the appropriate parts of this song. Program the weight blocks for 0.5 seconds. You will learn about weight blocks later in this video. To view the end of your program, you click the right arrow key on your keyboard to, and to go back to the beginning, click the left arrow key on the keyboard. The next step on this challenge is to go to the orange flow control tab and select the loop block. This makes the robot repeat an action. Select the connector on the play block and drag it to the loop. On the right of the loop block you'll find an infinity sign. Click it and select the count button and type in 4. This makes the robot repeat the blocks inside the loop four times. After that, go back to the green action tab and select the move steering block. Make sure that you did not select the move tank block. Place the move steering block inside the loop block. It will say on for rotations on the big button. Click it and select on. Leave the power and steering alone for now. Next, go to the orange flow control tab and select the weight block. Place it inside the loop block after the move steering block. And then click the time report and select touch sensor. Then compare. Then state. This will make your robot notice when it hits the wall. After that, Go back to the green action tab and select the move steering block. Place it after the weight block in the loop. Select the on for rotations button and click off. This will make your robot stop moving forward when it hits the wall. Then select the move steering again and in the rotations port type in negative 0.95. Negative rotations will make your robot back up so he doesn't hit the wall when turning. Next, select a large motor block and place it in the loop block after the move steering block. Make sure that in the top right corner, it is on the B port. Next, click the on for rotations port and type in 2.31 for the number of rotations. This makes our robot turn 180 degrees. After that, go back to the orange flow control tab and select the weight block. 
Place this block outside the loop so it will play after the loop has repeated four times. Select the timer button and type in 0 0.5. Then go back to this will make your robot repeat wait for 0 0.5 seconds before it continues to the next block. Then go back to the green action tab and select the sound block. Put it after the wait block outside the loop. Select the blank space in the top right corner of the block and select Lego sound files, communication, and then scroll down and select goodbye. Goodbye. This will make your robot say goodbye after it completes four loops. Thanks for watching. Now you'll see our EV3 robot Wally -E, in action.